What up YouTube and Twitch, it is Canary Kiwi here, um, once again, we are on Drummond Farm, episode 4, so, we are just finishing off this player deck, um, he's got, doing canola at the other end there, so doing that, we need to get this guy, and, we need to get, Got a tether and a wind row there. I want the wind row. That's what I want. And we are going to wind row our paddock. And we are going to turn it into silage bales. So yeah, we will get into this when rowing. Completed their task. Who's completed their task? Ah, he has two. Nice. We'll, we'll hold fire on the wind rung at the moment. We'll get this guy back. To I put the cultivator back and we will hook onto the baler. Large round bale rappler. And we will take that over to the farm so we're already with that there and then we'll carry on windrowing and then the baler is there for us when we're ready that's weird how it just like, sinks in the ground like that and then pops back up it's a pretty big tractor to be hauling this baler but awesome tractor, I like this tractor. One in the mod hub. Cool here you can have wide tyres with wheel weights on it, it's pretty cool. That's just going. Shortcut here. We will scoop down to the paddock. So I want to do paddock 32 and 27. I want to mow them. To, and we will turn them into hay. Yeah. And then 24 I do want to. Uh, I've got 4, 5 and 6 as one field. So I want to, I've got them in is barley so that'll be more straw for the cows but we should have enough straw for the pigs I think there's quite a bit they don't really take a lot so yeah get the little mini map up now sneak through here Quite cool having the automatic gates opening. Those getting in and out all the time. Right, we will jump back over to our tractor that we did leave running but turned off, which is good. Right, let's carry on wind rowing. So the wind rowing shouldn't take long anyway, since we are combining three rows into one. It'll be interesting to see how many and silage bales we get. Hopefully we get a few. Hmm. 
We should be able to just do one headland and then rows, which I won't know. Probably like curve around like the way it has been going. I think it'll be just easier to follow the way I did Mo. This hill's going to be fun. I don't remember if there's collisions on the hedges or not. If there isn't, then I have to chase some silage bales. Now I did say in the last video that we will to be harvesting that paddock but I don't want to do too much harvesting after harvesting after harvesting so we will keep that corn paddock and the harv harvester out there waiting or maybe next episode or the next one after and we'll just do a bit of mowing and, and we might yeah we'll probably do harvesting in the next one we'll do a bit of silage and then we will hook into our um I was ugh, what am I on about? We will do continue doing our mowing and stuff and then we'll do a bit of harvesting and then we'll go back and do the hay. Mowing again. So this should work. This. This seed already finished. Yeah, he's not. He's only halfway. I say. Must have been when I accidentally clicked hired worker on this guy. Instead of. On the left bumper and then B. Blocked by an object. Object is you blocked by. Oops, maybe miss a bit, you dick. Alright, we have to go see what, what he's blocked on. A bloody tree. Friggin' retard. Bloody blocked on a tree. Don't run into the tree. Right. Come on. So glad they fixed the hired workers on consoles. Thank God. Hired workers were a nightmare. Whoop. Taking out that row.
going now. Right, I'm just going up and down here. So when I jump back on my PC, I will be doing Wet Valley Farm. This is a New Zealand based farm, I've talked about it a shitload, probably too much, but you know. Um, and not too sure about the next, what two farms I'm going to be doing on PC. I will try and come back and do PC and Xbox versions to carry on Sandy Bay and Drummond Farm here. But yes, I will. I kind of want to do. Since I'm doing. Um, Wetter Valley Farm. I don't want to do, it's either got to be out of a European or a massive American map. I think an American, a cool American one would be good, but it's just hard to find those good maps. Like, there is shitloads of maps, like, I couldn't create a map. Save me, like, all the maps are good, it's just, I'm just fussy. But, yeah, just have to try and find a good one. I quite like the look of this um, wood, wood field one. What a cool map, I just um, uploaded it on the PC before and had a wee look at it, it's quite a good map. This doesn't run very well at the moment, but we will get there. The gear arrives. A little bit up here. Eat this piece here. It's definitely going to be fun with these around bales. They'll probably roll everywhere. I actually quite like this map though. This map's pretty cool. The way it's set out is pretty good. Right, that should there's near enough. Put this away and then we will start bailing. Didn't take very long, which is good. Quite squeezing there with the tether in there, didn't it? I might put open up gate. I'll put the winner over here just so it's not such a tight squeeze. Oops. Good. Oops. I want to all in there because then I bloody can't put the friggin' trap in there. Get in there, you piece of shit. Oh, it keeps hitting itself on the bloody thing. Right. That'll do. Tractor in there too. Get out of it before we make more of a mess. Loving the slurry pit down here. Hell oh shit. Where's this tractor? Over here. Up the fence. It's a bit dirty. Monday to wash soon. The bale is looking very clean though, isn't it? Up. And let's go. One thing I didn't think of is what I might have to 
grass, other two grass paddocks is fertilize them first. Yeah, might have to fertilize them first. Just so then you get a bit more out of the paddocks, I guess. I just missed a bit. I'm missing bits and pieces. Oh shit. It'd be one thing if it was really good like that is I can understand since it is a round baler. You can't really carry on going while it's unloading. Can't carry on picking green stuff, uh, the grass up, the green stuff. The good thing about this not unloading by itself is that you can choose where you want to unload it. Like, I don't want to unload it here on the hill. It's going to roll away, isn't it? And I think I'm actually gonna have to. <laughs> oh no. Bye, Bill. There it goes. See if it's got collisions. I can't quite remember. And it's fully stuck in the heat. Definitely going to have to go around once I've done this and off camera. And pick up all the little bits and bobs that I've missed. First. So we actually gained quite a few bales. One, two, three, four, five, six on our first round. That's not bad. I think we're going to get quite a bit of silage here. Could have actually picked it up the other way and put it into the silage bunker. Which I probably still can. I think I want it, if I was going to put it into the silage bunker, I think I would have about three or four paddocks to do. One thing we could do, 34 gram back, mo 32, 37, uh, 27 and 34 all together and then just probably could mow it off screen and then just pick all of it up and put it into silage clamp there, which isn't, it isn't very a very big one so it wouldn't take long to fill up actually
So we're gonna have quite a few solid barrels here, really. Which is good. I have no idea where we're gonna put them. <laughs> we could actually leave them out in this paddock, really. We could get the auto stacker. Or we could grab each individual one and, st and stack it ourselves. Reckon that'd be pretty cool. Grab each individual one and stack it ourselves. So we are getting a shitload of silage bales. This is such a small pack too, which is quite good. I always do that, I always get distracted by watching it spin around. I forget that I can carry on. Picking up solid bells. Or picking up grass. No, I just did it again too. <laughs> Right, let's conquer this little hill and let our silage bales go everywhere. Just some bits and pieces. I'm good at that. Oop, there goes that bow. Rolling away. I'm glad the heat just stopped them. Collisions. This little bit up here that I missed. Should fill this hopefully. Oh, not far away. Yeah. This up so I can get that bit of mist. Oh, that one's rolling too.
Oh, quite a few solid bales, it's good. I never thought we'd actually get this many. Nowhere near this many, to be honest. Little bits and pieces I've missed everywhere. Oh, there's a few over there. All those dark green spots everywhere you can see. Bit here too. They're about going for a roll as well. Because they all want to roll down the hill. Fill it up in it. Is that all of it? No, it's not. Thought it would have been. Where's the next piece? This over here. Maybe only like one and a bit bail ish. Up all these little leftover bits. I don't think I'll even get a full bale with what's left here. No, I don't think I will. Didn't get it fully, so turn that off, lift that up. Suppose we could put the bay, leave the baler here. Oh, oh, where are we going? Wait. Leave this tractor in the baler here, I think. Uh, we want to get, yes, we will get started, so you can start harvesting. This guy has finished, which is good. Hold that up, and we will jump, well, we're already in the JCB fast track, so we'll jump across road here. We will grab the trailer, and we will go down, and... Unload the harvester once he's full. Put the cedar away. Where are we? Put the cedar in the same spot, I guess. That's why I like maps with a heap of storage, but just because. And I like just everything having their own little area. Kind of a bit of a perfectionist, I guess. There's annoying me, it's in the way here. Can't leave stuff laying around. <laughs> yeah. 
There's quite a big area here. I'm kind of thinking I might put a shed just along there. I reckon it should fit perfect just there. Have we geese? What have we got? Placeables. There they are. We've got that. Oh, that would be too big, wouldn't it? Not if we turned it that way. Yeah, maybe too big. New fertilizer tanks that just came out and the uh, root crop storage as well. Um, oh, bunkers, we've got bunkers there too. Tanks and fences. We've got the old stream farm um, shed. That'd be quite a good one actually. Yeah, that'd fit in there good. Oh no, it wouldn't have been too long, I think. Oh, we've got some more plastic fertilizer, liquid tanks, placeables, placeables. Right, alright, uh, let's go and grab that trailer and head over to the harvester. Paddocks just need to be fertilized. Right. We need to fertilize them in the next episode. Got a 40 kilometer an hour sticker. We're going. Oh, we were going 58, but then we crashed. What a cool trailer looking on the tipper. The harvest has done three channels already. Holy crap! He's only got that much in him. Oh, it's only sunflowers. That's right. Oh, I forgot. I thought this was going to be. I thought this was corn. This would take forever to fill up. He'll probably do the whole paddock and won't even fill up once. Uh, do, do, do. So yeah, that'll be us for the f uh, for episode four, and we will see you next time on episode five. Remember to hit that follow, subscribe to me on YouTube, and like. Right, catch us later.